Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Toy Geek Maniac. I'm your host, Constance Miller. That was the clip from December 2023 when I got my second uh, character kit from Creatable World. And in case you don't know, Creatable World is a character kit of toys. And they're not labeled as dolls or action figures. They're called character kits. These character kits are ahead of their time, and unfortunately, they didn't last very long. However, they're still on the market for reasonable prices, and even though I purchased them on Amazon, they come from overseas, the UK primarily. But, I purchased one deluxe character kit, which I didn't do a video for. Um, but did feature in my second video where I got a normal kit. And now I've got my second character kit. And here it is. So now I'm going to open it up and we're going to take a look. So if you go into articulation with the character, there's a pivot to the head as well as the side to side motion. There's a lateral lift in the arm as well as a shoulder turn. There is a elbow turn and a wrist flex. There's no torso or waist turn. Very little lateral lift in the leg. Single jointed knee. However, there is a flex in the foot. And it kind of almost gives a rocking side to side vibe, but it doesn't. The posability on these kits are great for what they're worth. But it's how you can accessorize them that makes the difference. The idea that you can make your character whatever you want them to be is what is so remarkable about this line and if you want 
a boy character, you can have a boy character. If you want a girl character, you can have a girl character. If you want a non-binary character, you can do that. If you want a transgender character, you can do that. And that is the fun of these kits. They're so diverse and they're so inclusive. And I, I love them. I wish this line would have continued. I would love to see more and more and more. The prices are starting to go up tremendously. So, shoving out some money for the rest of these kits is gonna cost. But there are, I think, at least three more kits that I need. Or at, three, at least three more characters. The kits include more clothes and accessories. But the characters themselves uh, can be purchased individually with just the basics and extra hair. This is how I'm choosing to dress this character. It's also kind of really neat that they don't come with preset names. This is such an exciting line of toys. I just... I just think it's remarkable. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Toy Geek Maniac. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever Redinson Productions uploads a video. Also, if you are inclined to help the channel grow, you can do so by following the links in the description where you can buy me a coffee or visit my Amazon.com wish list. Thank you so much once again. All the support means a tremendous amount to me. You have no idea. Love and light to you all.